Hi, I'm Sue Mazera from Coulter's Paradise. I know times are tough right now. They are for all of us. We happen to be in California and we're in lockdown mode. Well, we decided to come up with a face mask pattern for you. It's called the Cut Right Handy Guide Face Mask pattern and you're going to see it in a little bit. I'm going to go step by step to show you. Now one of the things we've discovered is a lot of people are running out of elastic. So it turns out a lot of us have fabric on hand. So all of this can be done with just fabric. So I'm going to show you the components needed to make the mask. It takes three all together. One is the mask itself which is a 10 by 14 inch. That's going to give you a double mask. We also, since I told you we're using ties, we're using 2 inch by 44 and we're going to leave the selvage on. Okay? If you have a lot of 2.5 inch strips around, use those. It will still work. I'm going to be talking about the pattern. We're not going to zoom in. You can go to the website and look at the pattern, but the first thing we're going to do is start making the mask. And how we're going to do that is we're going to take this and fold it right sides together. So now instead of 10 by 14, it's now going to be 7 by 10. Okay? I'm now going to take this over to the machine and sew a quarter inch seam just along this on this machine, I have to set it up with this foot to about 6.0 to be a quarter inch. I want my needle down. I'm going to start the seam. I'm going to go forward. I'm going to go back and I'm going to lock. And then now I'm going to finish the seam. Okay, we finished sewing the quarter inch seam. When we got to the end, we also locked. Okay, this is not quilting where we're going to be going over the seams multiple times, so you lock at the beginning and the end. Now what we do is we're going to reach in and we're going to pull it through and we've got a tube. Okay, and our tube, I'm going to lay it down here and it shows also within here we've got a seam up here and our fold down here. It's going to be important in a minute because first I'm going to press this, I'll bring it right back and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, now we have it. We have the fold here, we have the seam up here, this has been pressed. Now what we're going to do is put the slits in because we're using a slit in some method to tell us where the pleats are going to be. To do that I take this piece, I fold it over. Okay, by folding it over, now we're five by seven. Okay, so we're gonna take this and as you can see in the pattern, there's this blue area. You probably can't see what I'm doing, but you, you'll understand it. There's a fold line here and that goes with the fold down here. I'm gonna put it right on there. I'm going to pin right here and I'm going to pin up here. Okay. Yes, I'm pinning my pattern. It's okay. So, instead of measuring, we're going to cut our slits. So we're going to take our scissors and we're going to make sure we do not cut farther than this line because this line is within a quarter inch seam. So I'm going to take this, come over here, and I don't need much. I just need to know where it is. So I cut that and I'm going to do that on every single Once one. Once I have the slits in, I'm going to remove it from the paper. And guess what? I can still reuse this pattern multiple times. I just cut where those slits are. So I take this off, put it over here. Now I'm going to open this up again. And now I'm here and I have my slits. Now on the paper, if you could zoom in for a minute, you'll see between one and two there's an arrow. Between three and four there's an arrow. Between five and six there's an arrow. So I'm going to put one and two together. And how I do that is I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to, here's my one slit. You, you probably can't see them but I can see them. And I put my one and two together. Fold it like this. Okay? And I am going to put a pin in. Okay? Now, I'm going to go to the one and two of this side. Now I have it here and here. I see them. I put them together. I'm going to pin it. 
And I'm going to do the same for 3 and 4, 5 and 6. Now that I have it all done, I still, I like to always have my fold down here, my seam up here. I have these this way, but I want to now create the actual pleat. So what I do is I'm going to take this one, I'm going to fold it down to here, and I'm going to move the pin and stick it in. I tell you to put another pin in, but you don't have to. Then again, I'm going to move it. I've got my pleat now. I'm going to take the pin. I'm going to put it in. I'm going to do it again. So I've got my pleat. I just push it down. I take this pin out and I'm going to put it in. And now I'm going to sew a quarter inch seam here. You do not have to lock the seams because guess what? We're going to go over this one again. I'm going to start with the needle down and I'm just going to sew and of course we don't like sewing our pins so we'll take them out as we go. We don't, like I say, have to start and stop because we're going to be sewing over this again. Once I finish this side, I'm going to do the same thing as I did um, as this side. So we have the mask completed but we, want, we need to put the ties in. What we have to do is take our two inch or two and a half inch strips. We have to iron it midway. And I'm gonna show you this first and I'm gonna just press it. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this in and this one into the middle, okay? To do that, it's a, this is the pain of the whole process. So what I do is I create a little tunnel to help me. How I do that is, let's see, I'll take this off if I can. If I can, there we go. So I'm, I use cardstock right here. Okay, just to show you on this one. And it is now the size, first I'm gonna use it for this, I just put tape, enough tape to give me a little ridge here and a little ridge there. Then I'm going to put this over and I'm going to tape that down. The other thing I'm going to do, and I like to do it on a, a surface that I can access. So I'm going to do it again over here. Once it's created, I just pull this up this way. I'm going to pull this in. So we've got two um, ties to do. If I am doing 10 of these, I'm going to do this whole process for all of the mess at one time because as I said, this is not my favorite part. So I leave a gap here that I can put my iron in. I'm going to put my iron in there. I'm going to be focused over here and I'm going to pull it through. Okay? Because otherwise, it's a big pain in the butt. Now you got to concentrate that you're not going to do this for too long. So I'm going to go about halfway. I'm going to stop. I'm going to make sure I press. I'm going to pick up my iron. I'm going to put it back down. And I'm going to do it again. Okay. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to pick up my iron. Now I'm going to do the same thing again, except I'm going to fold to the middle. So how I'm going to do that, I'll put this back here going to come down and I'm going to open this up. I'm going to fold this one into the middle, this one into the middle. Okay. And I'm going to I just press a little bit to get it started because then I want it to go through there. Okay. All right. Now the same thing that I just did. Pull this apart, put this in. Ah! Tape sticks, it's okay. Push that to there. Same thing over here, pull this up, pull this through. Now I'm gonna be helping it go through over here. And I'm going to do the same thing as I did before. Now we're going to do this to both ties. What you do is you, for the length of the tie, you find your middle. You find your middle on your mask and it's right about there. So I'm going to open this up. I'm going to pin this to it right in the center, right here. 
And how you have to pin it is you have to pin it this way, okay? Because now what we're going to do is we're going to be pulling this over. We're going to go to this end and we are going to start sewing at, and leave the selvage on because it's already there. We're going to fold it like this and now we're going to move the needle over to the left side of the foot and we're going to lock and sew the whole seam and then at the end we'll lock it again. Okay, so I've been sewing my tie and I'm approaching the mask. And then I want to stop with this down. As you see, as I'm getting closer, okay, this goes like this. I'm going to be bringing this over. I'm going to sew right to here. I'm going to stop and take out the pin. So now that it's in there, put the needle down. I'm now going to take out the pin because I don't think people are going to want to have a pin in their mask. We'll take it out now and we finish. So all the way to the end and lock. We'll do that again on the other side. We are now finished. Our mask is done. Our handy guard face mask is done. I want you to zoom in right here onto this picture. If you can see that, it turns out this is the way some of the people like to tie it. That's why our ties are so long, so that it crisscrosses so it'll stay and not move. And thank you, and I hope you enjoy making these masks.